Hi everyone, really good to see you. I have a wee question from fellow YouTuber War Guitars, and he's asking how he can change his gig performer rack spaces with his Roland AX1 guitar patch buttons. So let's get straight to it. So the Roland AX1 has 16 patch buttons and a bank button to give you another 16. So you've got 32 all in all. Now it wasn't blessed with the best manual in the world, but if you're using it with Gig Performer, you really don't need to touch the manual. So let's head over to Gig Performer and I'll show you exactly what to do. Now the quickest and easiest way to set this up is to use the MIDI monitor in Gig Performer. I've got four rack spaces here set up. Now you can either use the mouse and click window and go to the global MIDI monitor or you can press Control M. So the global MIDI monitor basically listens for any sort of MIDI traffic coming in and out of Gig Performer. So if I press patch button one, you see all the information that the AX1 has sent out via its MIDI port. The main thing we're looking for to change rack spaces is the program change number, which is just there. And as you can see on patch button one, the AX1 is sending out program change number 44. So if we head over to the first rack space, and double click on the rack space. This brings up another window. And as you can see, you can assign a program change number to that rack space. If you remember, patch button one was sending out program change 44. So let's change that to 44. Enter and OK. Let's go back into the global MIDI monitor and now clear that away and press patch number two. And on patch button number two, we're getting program change number one, two, two. So let's set the second rack space to one, two, two. So as simple as that, if I press patch number one, it changes to the first rack space. If I change the patch number two, it now changes to the second rack space. Now there is a caveat here. If for whatever reason, you put those program change numbers in and it doesn't work, go to options and global MIDI, use zero base PC numbers on or off. This is because there's two different ways that MIDI uses program change numbers. There's either zero to one, two, seven, and some manufacturers use one to one, two, eight. So toggling that little option, use zero base PC numbers will compensate for that. So that's pretty much it. There's really no need to delve into the manual and go changing program change numbers in the device itself. Just use the MIDI monitor, find out what it's sending out and use that in your rack space to activate it, if that makes sense. So anyway, if you've stumbled across this video and you have no idea what Gig Performer is, check the link below, go and have a look. If you are at all a gigging musician, you need to go and check it out. It will make your gigging life so much easier, honestly. So shout out to War Guitars. I hope that sorts it out for you, mate. If not, just get back in touch and we'll try and sort it out. Till next time, see you later.